It's homecoming time on the Hill. This weekend, Western Kentucky University alumni from everywhere are expected to return to campus to relive for a short time the years they spent in Bowling Green and Warren County. And this year, a special effort is being undertaken to involve the Bowling Green and Warren County community as a whole. Joining us today to talk with talk with us about Western's homecoming is Dr. Thomas Meredith, president of Western Kentucky University. And welcome and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Beverly. It's always good to be with you. Oh, it's good to have you here. First off, tell us about some of the activities that are planned for the week. Gosh, we may take all day doing this. <laughs> the uh, last night we kicked it off out uh -huh. at the Greenwood Mall. We've got several things going on there uh, with a pep rally and Coach Harbaugh came out in the Big Red Band and Big uh -huh. Red and Topperettes, cheerleaders. Uh -huh. Had a great turnout and good enthusiasm and Department heads all over the place with uh, display booths about Western. Tonight, there will be a fashion show with the homecoming queen candidates being uh -huh. the model uh -huh. and Barb D being the MC. Uh -huh. We'll follow that on Wednesday night with uh, the Topperettes, uh, our new dance team that you've seen at the football games. Uh -huh. And they'll be at the Greenwood Mall again uh, with a uh, fashion show. So that'll be kind of exciting. All that heads into Thursday. And in Thursday, of course, we've got... Uh, the Big Red Lookalike Contest. I have no idea what that could be, but if, if Barry, Williamson, Barry Williams is doing that for G107, there's not much telling what that'll be like. There isn't much telling what that will be like. <laughs> that night will be a major concert. Uh, the Romantics and Nervous Melvin and the somebody's and the mistakes. <laughs> so I'm sure everyone will make, we'll want to make sure that they make that concert. So all of those things head into Friday. Uh -huh. And then, of course, Friday is uh, Big Red's Roar. And that's always fun. It's always fun. I want to encourage people to come out to that. That'll be at the, the old football stadium most people will recognize, which now we call the, the amphitheater. Uh -huh. We'll have a, a rip-roaring pep rally, and uh -huh. everybody will be there, and the band will be playing. It'll be bananas, but it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, we have a, a nationally ranked or nationally known comedian who's going to be on later that evening. Has been on Johnny Carson and all of that. So. It'll, it's kind of a fun time, and I hope people will come out. If you haven't been to a pep rally in a while, this is a good one to come to, and it's a lot of fun. It's outside. So all of those things are exciting. All during the week, we've got uh, music going on uh, around the Downing Center, out on the patios there, and uh -huh. it's just a, a great atmosphere heading into the weekend. Uh -huh. And there's a special effort this year to kind of involve people who maybe aren't associated with the university. Tell us That's about right. that special effort. Well, this weekend we'll have, uh, again, what we call the Festival of Friends. We kind of changed homecoming last year. Uh -huh. And we want people to come and tailgate and just enjoy the full atmosphere of all that we have going on around homecoming. This year on the South Lawn of Downing, we've got about 33 tents at last count and rising uh -huh. that'll be set up on the South Lawn of Downing. And there'll be all kinds of food tents. There'll be tents from every organization you've ever heard of, including a lot of people from the community who will uh -huh. be there. And so it's just going to be alumni, friends from the community, students. It's going to be a great time. And if you, if you haven't been to a county fair lately, I think you're going to get a little <laughs> bit of that atmosphere. We have a big band playing over to the side, and it's just it's going to be fun. All that kicks off about 2.30, heading toward the 5.30 game. And about how many alumni are we expecting? Have you heard a, a number yet? Well, we had uh, over 18,000 last weekend at the game. That's alumni, uh -huh. students, and friends. And uh, we expect that number again for this weekend. So I think we're going to have a full house. It's going to be a great time. The game kicks off at 530 against the number four team in the country. So we're uh -huh. going to have our hands full again. But uh, with Coach Harbaugh, I know he'll give us a good... Uh, Good run at it. Good run at it. Now, why is it so important to get the community involved at, at large, more so than just having this for Western alumni alone? Why is that so important? Well, you know, everything we do, we can't just do it at Western. It's Western and Bowling Green and Warren County, really all of South Central Kentucky. And all of us together do everything that we do. Mm -hmm. And that partnership is extremely important. Our partnership now even extends over to Barron County and Glasgow mm -hmm. because of our Glasgow campus on Tonight, I'll leave late this afternoon, we've got a big barbecue and home homecoming rally in Glasgow tonight. Uh -huh. And so that's it's, something new. It's really important to, to get us all together, and that's what we want to continue to try to do. Uh -huh. We get so much support locally that it's important to keep that going. Okay, and uh, Saturday's game is against Youngstown State, Youngstown if I State. correctly. And we've got a good rivalry going with Youngstown State, and as I said, in one poll they're number four, and another poll they're number six. So. We have just three weeks in a row with teams that are highly ranked. So we've got our hands full, but we can do it. We can do it. Okay, well, Dr. Meredith, thank you so much for joining us today, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun with homecoming. Look forward to seeing you as one of our graduates at homecoming. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. And we'll have more when midday returns. Stay with us.